All right, good afternoon. I uh, appreciate you joining us. Um, yeah, uh, getting looking forward to getting out in the practice field today. I thought we had a good good practice yesterday, um, and look forward to get out there there today to uh, move forward and keep going. Obviously, the last game was very disappointing. How we played, I thought early in the game we had some chances with momentum swings to make a play and turn a turnover, block kick, or something into, into points, and 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 maybe it, it it you know sets things off in a different direction. But but that didn't happen, and. Uh, so, you know, they're a very good team. Credit to them. They're, they're talented. They're well coached. And, uh, you know, so we, we, we lost, you know, lost, lost touch in that game uh, pr pretty quickly. So I'm looking forward to see how our guys respond, how they bounce back. I, I, I have a pretty good feel of how they will. And, and, and a lot of that will be how we prepare and, and go through our, our work week um, here, you know, with yesterday and starting in today. So, with that, any questions? And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Coach, uh, Coach, a lot of season to play for still. Uh, how do you bounce back from a loss like this uh, one last Saturday? How do you move on? How do you move forward? Same way you always do. I mean, you know, you got to bounce back from wins too. You, know, you, you, know, you always got to bounce back from week to week. That's the, the sport we play, the, the world we live in. You, you, you got to put put to bed on Saturday night, whatever whatever happened, and, and move forward. Our guys have done that many times. I, I have a great feeling they'll do it again. Coach, uh, straight up the middle here. Uh, could you give us an update on uh, Morton Schlager? And uh, could you tell me uh, uh, how the fourth stringer looks? Also, um, yeah, M Max is uh, Max is a, a tough guy. He, he he bounces back. He'll be, uh, you know, we'll just we'll keep evaluating that as we go through the week and um, see where we're at at the end of the week. Caleb was the next guy that came in the game. Caleb, he's healthy. He's you know, he did some good things in the game. Obviously, under the circumstance, that's his first um, game reps or really any reps with with the ones in a, you know, since he's been here at least. So. Um, he did go with those, and we'll, we'll keep getting him prepared to play, um, as well as Ryan Brand. I mean, I think, you know, Ryan is a guy that can do some things to help us too. So that's where we're at. Those three guys at quarterback, and we'll we'll keep preparing them to get ready to play. Coach, uh, just to uh, follow up on that, so you do not have a starter yet for uh, Saturday. I do not have a story. What do you mean? Max, Max Borschlager is our quarterback. Okay. I'm saying we're going to work through the week and see how he is later in the week and make that evaluation. Can't make an evaluation on Tuesday for a game on Saturday of exactly you know, who, who's healthy, who's our, our, in our best situation. Right. Um, and it seemed like even though defensively you guys struggled, it seemed like Josh Woods uh, made a number of uh, good plays early in the game, giving you guys some opportunities with short fields. Uh, what kind of improvement has he made uh, since last year? Uh, and how do you think he's playing uh, here at Yeah, he's playing really well. I mean, he's someone we've pointed out as a coaching staff for how well he's playing. I think he's really, um, you know, when you start measuring guys of who's made the most improvements, he, he's up there at the top of the list. He's done a, done a tremendous job. I think, um, you know, he's made a real decision in his life to, to, to make football priority and prepare the right way and play the right way. He's, he, I think he's, a, you know, Done a great job of a, of a leader, an older guy in the room that has good leadership ability, and uh, it's shown. He's, he's playing well in the field. He's, he's he's in a lot of plays, making a lot of tackles, um, and I think he's steadily week to week gotten gotten a little better. So, he, he, and you see, he's, he's playing a lot more because of it. To that coach, is it important to have guys like that when you're building a program who was given took advantage of an opportunity? and other guys see what he can do and what he can achieve with the program that you're putting into place? No doubt. When, when, when guys yeah, witness another guy and his development and, and where, where he was and where he's gotten to, that, that you can, that's tangible evidence to say, okay, if, if I make the same sort of commitment and, and you know, work just as hard 
you know, I too then can put myself in a position that I want to be in, which is playing a lot more. I mean, you know, Josh played very limited snaps for us last year. And again, to see that transformation he made through through an offseason and spring ball and summer and now into the season, it's like, you know, two different guys in many ways. And, you know, so yeah, we, we, those are things we point out to the, to the team and make sure guys understand and see that that's really what it's all about. I mean, that's, you, you always want to be developing and making all your guys, you know, the best they can be. Makes Northwestern in your mind dangerous, and um, do you sense that they're in maybe a similar spot that you guys are in this week, coming off of a loss, you know, to a top ten team? Yeah, I, sure. I mean, there's, there's definitely parallels there. Where we, we both we're both coming off a loss. I think you know, those guys have proven over time that they, they know how to how to bounce back from a defeat. I mean, they, they're they're a really well coached team. They're, um, you know as fundamentally sound and as consistent as, as, as you can get. That's, I can't give more credit to a coach or a coaching staff than, than what they do. Um, on film, they're, they're, they're physical. They, they, they're, they're stout up front on their, on their defensive line, for sure. Um, you know, and they, and they, they, they have good answers for things in, in their scheme, both offensively and defensively, to, to you know, kind of see what you're doing and, and ha have counters for it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big challenge for our guys. We're, we're certainly, you know, we, we've been working on that since Saturday night. No, no one was coming up, and we got to be prepared to go, go play this game. And, um, you know, so I, I think our team understands that, and, and you, it's, it's clear when you watch on tape. They play really hard. They're physical. They're well coached. They, they know what the heck they're doing. And um, you know they, they got good players in, in, in the right spots. Uh, with all the injuries at quarterback, um, how important have skill players like DJ Moore and Ty Johnson been? And what have they done to step up? Yeah, I mean, you know th those guys are very important. I, I, all, all the guys uh, um, they, they have the ball in their hand at some point become very important, right? They they got to be guys that can do the right thing, make the right decision, and, and get positive yardage, and hopefully have some. Um, some some breakaways, you know, some explosive plays for us. I think you know those guys as well as our offensive line it become you know very critical, right, to, to be able to protect the quarterback and also you know be able to control line of scrimmage and run the ball. DJ, what's uh, can you give us an update on uh, the situation with Jalen uh, Shane, as always, I mean, you, know, you guys have asked periodically about it. He's always really a little bit day to day with the program in terms of, um, you know, uh, again, there, there's been a lot, of, lot, a lot of things, a lot of circumstances, and, and my my point on this is we're we're trying to help Shane for his life, and if if he is in alignment with what's going on in the program and he's earned the right to be on the field and represent us, then he, he'll be able to do that. But when he's not, he won't be. Either way, we're, we're we're helping. So Shane is still part of the team. I'm I'm again trying to help Shane for his life right now. He's not a guy that can represent our, our team on the field for he hasn't fulfilled his end of the bargain of, of what he needs to do. So, so that's where so, at. so he's still the same situation this week going forward and and, and, also, and also As always he's day to day. But okay. yes, we we're still sitting in the same boat right now. Yeah. All right. And, and in terms of it, it took you so long to when it took him so long for him to win that trust back the first time after what happened last year, uh, given that they're mid midway through the season, I mean, is there a chance that his career could be over in Maryland? All right. that, that's a, again, that, that's a, who knows? There's a lot of season left, and there's a lot of, a lot of days in that season for, for an individual, not just Shane, but any individual to make positive decisions in their life or negative. And those decisions obviously affect what their status will be moving forward, you know, with, with anyone. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Coach, just to be clear, is Max under concussion protocol, or is it just he got jarred and you want to see an effort type to help him? Yeah, we, we're just um, Max is day to day, and we'll, we'll we'll make an evaluation if we keep going through the week of how how he is, how he's responding. We'll always, you know, put the safety of our players first. And like I said, I mean, Max is. is Tough kid, and I think uh, you know if any if anyone can respond the right way to any sort of injury, it'd be, it'd be Max. So um, we'll just see as we go through the week. Let me follow up on that uh, offense: 66 yards last week, uh, and you're sort of uncertain at quarterback. What, what can be done to uh, get more production out of that unit? Um, you know, I, I think 
we've had a lot of weeks where we've been productive, even with the quarterback situation. I think a lot, a lot of things happened in that game that that kind of culminated into a, obviously a lackluster performance. So, um, you know, we're looking into what we can do scheme-wise differently, what we can do personnel-wise differently. But we're, we're all, all those things are on the table. We've we've evaluated, looked at, and making those decisions. I, I don't know. We, we still have a, a very talented offense, I believe. At, at, you look at running back, receiver, offensive line, there's a lot of really good players. we, we got to do a better job of putting them in a position to be successful. And, um, you know, that, that, that's what we'll do. Thanks, Jim Mark. Uh, Wayne and Don. Two guys popped to me out of that game at Ohio State. One is the development of Antoine Brooks. He, he looks like a real player. And the other one's Javon Lee, a tailback. Can you talk about those two guys and if we can expect more time from Javon Lee as the season goes up? Yep, yeah, you're right. Both those guys do 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 definitely pop off the film and something we've talked about. And yeah, Javon will continue to play more and more both on special teams and in working in an offense. Again, he's at a, he's at a position where there's there's a lot of depth there right now. Um, but we'll we'll certainly keep doing that. And and uh, Antoine has played played pretty consistently for us this year all throughout. He's a um, you know, dynamic guy, I believe, on defense. I mean, he, he's explosive. He, he has good football awareness and instincts. Um, he plays physical. He makes a lot of plays. He's, you know, throws his body around and, and plays defense the way you, the way you want a guy to play it. So um, we'll continue to, to put him in spots to, to make those plays. DJ, uh, the last three games, you guys have had a hard time getting to the quarterback. Is that a result of, is that a byproduct of the guys you're playing against, like Jason Barrett and Mackenzie Milton, or, or do you? It's twofold. I mean, some of the things we've done schematically was was to eliminate areas for the quarterbacks. When you have mobile quarterbacks for them to, to run and escape, you, you get a great pass rush, and they duck under it, and then they have a long scramble. So it, some of that's by design. Some of it is we, we have to do a better job of, of winning our one-on-one -on -one matchups or, or, or calling pressures in situations. We've probably been, you know, I don't know, lower on pressure calls than, than, than normal. But a lot of it, again, is because of who, who's back there. Um, so, yeah, I think, again, there's not a – this is the one answer. I think it's a, it's a couple things. I think we can do some things differently schematically, but we also, when there's a guy back there, including this week, I mean, it, 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 he can, um, you know, he can beat you running the ball as well. So you, you always got to be aware of that and conscious of, of rush lanes and, and keep the ball in front of you. Okay, thank you. I want you to take over control. Take over control.